Hey guys and welcome to a brand new sort of project update video. In this video we're going to be covering some of the changes I've made to some of my various different projects, including some of my libraries. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So for my library projects, what I've really started working on is first off using emilib. What I did was I increased the number of jobs from 256 to 512. I also add some performance profiling options, and this is actually pretty useful because now you can get the overall performance of the jobs and the job manager, which is actually pretty cool to see. So basically what you can do is you can get the amount of CPU time and the amount of basically ME time that was used in the last uh, dispatch jobs function. And that's going to help you out quite a bit because you'll actually know uh, what you're really going for here. You'll basically be able to tell how much of uh, either resource jobs that you're doing really are taking up. And sticking with performance as an overall idea, what I did was that I decided to go ahead and work specifically on how to do things like tracking the performance and stuff like that. So I created a brand new performance library called perflib, uh, which basically just goes ahead and you take two different points in time. So for example, the start of a function and the end of a function, and that way you're going to be able to do that. I also integrated Stardust profiling system inside of here too, overly simplified manner, in order to basically have profiling and performance data for basically any application in a way that you don't actually have to include all of Stardust Engine inside of it. With these two libraries in mind, I've also gone ahead and tried to basically do a uh, pull request onto the main PSP SDK so that these libraries can be included in the main PSP SDK in the future. So meaning that new installs will basically have emulib and performance lib both inside of them, which is really going to be helpful for PSP developers looking to integrate applications with these said projects without having to do it necessarily manually. So thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with some more videos.